steel ball on the campus of Fredonia for today's NCAA Division III hockey contest between the Plattsburgh State Cardinals and your Fredonia State Blue Devils. Our SUNYAC student athletes and coaches welcome you to tonight's contest. As student athletes at the State University of New York Athletic Conference, we ask fans to support the goals of good sportsmanship. Please help us to maintain a positive and competitive atmosphere as we strive to reach our potential as athletes. Courtesy to officials, coaches, competitors, and athletic fans is expected. Profanity, racial or sexist comments, taunting and intimidating actions are expressions of poor sportsmanship and are grounds for removal from this site. We appreciate and thank you for your support and encouragement. Good luck to both teams and enjoy the game. Now let's meet today's starting lineups. For the Cardinals, in goal, the six foot three junior from Ennismore, Ontario, number 31, Jacob Hurd. On defense, the six foot sophomore from Yellow Knife Northwest Territories, number 13, Lonan Mulder. On defense, the six three sophomore from Medina, Ohio, number six, Spencer Molino. At forward, a 5'11 freshman from Montreal, Quebec, number nine, Tio DiDario. At forward, a six foot junior from North Salem, New York, number 37, Jake Lanning. At forward, a six foot senior from Ottawa, Ontario, number 15, Bennett Stockdale. The Cardinals are coached by Mr. Steve Moffat in his fifth season. His assistants are Mr. Reed Lesway and Mr. Billy Corvo. And now, let's introduce your own Fredonia State Blue Devils. The netminder, a five foot ten sophomore from St. Remy, Quebec, number one, Charles Anthony Barbo. On defense. Six foot senior from Littleton, Colorado. Number 27, Curry Woodford. On defense, a six foot long freshman from Pontiac, Quebec. Number eight, Xavier Fortin. At four, a six foot two freshman from Shelwoodigan, Quebec. Number 18, Antoine St. At forward, a six foot one junior from Anchorage, Alaska. Number 10, Ryan Bailey. And at forward, a six foot two sophomore from Homer, Alaska. Number 12, Ethan Pittsman. The Blue Devils are coached by Mr. Jeff Barrett in his 36th season. His assistants are Mr. Brian Regali and Mr. Parker Brickman. Tonight's officials are Mr. Mike Manini and Mr. Sean Corcoran. And now, ladies and gentlemen, if you are willing to hand in, please rise and remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem.
Steel Hall Ice Arena, the home of your Fredonia State Blue Devils. I am Parker Burnett. Today's matchup for a SUNAC matchup of the Plattsburgh State Cardinals and your Fredonia State Blue Devils. in for Paul Breyer. Tony gets it up to Jack Schlifke. Schlifke dumps it in, dumps it in on net. Battle for it along in the corner. Puck rolls behind the Plattsburgh net. Battle for it along the near boards. Johnny Ayanza with a shot, and that shot is up and tipped out of play. Fredonia comes into today after a loss to SUNY Potsdam last night, 3-1, to drop their record to 3-8. And, and Plattsburgh, the number two ranked team in the country in Division Three, is coming off an upset loss last night to up in Buff State. As Plattsburgh controls it behind their own net. Antoine St. Ange has it for Fredonia. Tips it up, comes out of the zone. They dump it back in behind the Plattsburgh net. Jack Ring has it for Plattsburgh. Puts him over down in the center. Corvo plays it behind his own net up to Ethan Pittsman. Stolen away on the play by Simon Singer for Plattsburgh. Jack Ring has it, dumps it in. Shot blocked on the play.
Adam Hawkins dumps it in for Fredonia. Comes up on the far boards. Almost kept it on the play, but out to the Fredonia side of center. Plays now behind the Fredonia net. Big hit in the corner. Johnny Ayanza with it. Passes up to Ethan Schlipke. Sorry, Jack Schlipke. Dump back into the, the right corner. Over to Adam Hawkins, who has to find his own net. Passes it up to Ethan Pittman on the left side. Jeff Schlupke puts a hit on as the puck falls back in behind the Fredonia net. The puck is up on the back of the Fredonia net, so a stoppage of play. just outside of the Fredonia's blue line on the near side. Ryan Bailey looks to take the face off. Face off is won by Plattsburgh as they dump it into the at Fredonia zone. Barbo plays it up the wall. A little too far out of the reach of Ethan Pittsman. Stolen away on the play by Simon Singer for Plattsburgh. Paul Breyer has it for Plattsburgh behind the net. That puck will be up and out of play. Faceoff will be to the left of Barbeau. Barbeau, a 5'10 sophomore from St. Remy, Quebec. This will be his 10th game of the season. So the puck comes behind the Fredonia net. Adam Tretzelwitz has it for Plattsburgh. Battle for it along the boards behind the Fredonia net. As it comes out of the corner, Ryan Bailey will have it for Fredonia. Comes to the Fredonia, and offsides on the play is Fredonia. As teams make some changes for this faceoff, a couple of line changes for Fredonia. Nick Newman is in the game today. He did not play last night along with Joe Santoro and Jack Schlifke. Faceoff is won by Fredonia. Quick shot from the point. Love save by Jacob Hearn. So tonight's lines will be Ethan Pittman. From left to right will be Ethan Pittsman, Ryan Bailey, Antoine St. Ange. Faceoff's take, taken by Nick Newman. One. Quick shot from the point. Stick the break up the pass, but a high stick is called. So Nick Newman, so Johnny Malandrucolo, Nick Newman, and Dylan Schmidt, Baxter Kimball, Nolan Underwood, and Joe Santoro, and Brendan Dempsey, David Subdrink, and Jack Schlifke are your forward lines for Fredonia. Nick Newman will look to take the face off to the left, left of Barbo. Face off is won by Fredonia. Garrison Gag now throws it behind his net. Nick Newman with the play, leaves it for Kieran Furlonger, dumps it in. Behind the Plattsburgh net. And up on the near boards is it. Is Ry Riley Sutherland. Dumps it in behind the Fredonia net. Comes into the Plattsburgh end. is broken up in the at center. Stolen away by Fredonia. It's Johnny Ayonzo puts it behind his net. Johnny Ayonzo dumps it in. And the Plattsburgh net comes clear off its post. Defensive pairings for Fredonia is Garrison Agnon and Kieran Furlonger, Xavier Fortan and Curry Woodford, and Johnny Ayanzo and Adam Hawkins. All the same from last night's game, with Evan Wams being the extra defensive man for Fredonia today. So the play will come off just outside of the Plattsburgh blue line. 
Faceoff is won by Fredonia. Dumped in by Nolan Underwood. Plays in the corner. Find the Fredonia net. We have a whistle and a stoppage of play. So Joe Santora will go to the box for a tripping call in the corner. So Fredonia will look to kill its first penalty kill of the day. They were 2-0. They killed both their penalties they had against them last night. Skew Deardo has it behind the net. Quick shot saved by Barbeau. Even Pittsman looks to get a shorthanded opportunity going. Still applying the pressure behind the Plattsburgh net. Plattsburgh looks to get something going as they enter the zone here on the near boards. Pio De Ardo has it for Plattsburgh, dumps it in. Over to the left point. Comes out of the Fredonia end, so they will, Plattsburgh will have to reset. Venice Stockdale has it up at the point. Looking for a pass to get a quick point. Tipped on and saved by Anthony Barbeau. Shot came from the point and Tio Deardo looked to have a quick tip in, but Barbeau closed that door immediately. Both teams look to get a fresh set of players out there for this penalty. Face off will be to the right of Barbeau. Won by Plattsburgh. Ryan Hogg has it. Quick point shot misses. Plattsburgh still has it. Up to Kevin Weaver Vitali up at the point. Back to Hogg. Hogg to Vitali. Down to Paul Breyer in the corner. Paul Breyer has it behind the Fredonia net. Off the boards up to Vitali. Over to Hogg. Oh, a quick shot from Vitali, saved by Barbeau. And Fredonia will clear it out of the zone. Excellent save by Barbeau to keep this game scoreless early on. Quick shot and saved by Barbeau, another beautiful save. A shot from a point from Vitali and saved by Barbeau. 10.46 left in the first period. Game remains scoreless and 15 seconds left in the Joe Santoro penalty. Faceoff will come to the left of Barbeau. Won by Plattsburgh. Pally over to Hogg. Hogg down to Breyer. Quick shot blocked on the play by Xavier Fortan. This puck is centered in front and tip is wide. Plattsburgh looks to do a wraparound save by Barbeau. And Fredonia will clear the zone and kill off the penalty. Battle it along the near boards. Dumped down into the Plattsburgh end. Valley has it for Plattsburgh. It's tipped in and it's taken away on the play by Baxter Kimball. And a nice thing on Fredonia is called on the play. Faceoff will come to the right of Barbeau. It'll be Nolan Underwood taking the faceoff. It's won by Plattsburgh. Stick on the play to break up the pass. Lee Baxter Kimball put on the Plattsburgh side of center. Stolen away on the play by Plattsburgh. Plattsburgh dumps it in behind the Fredonia net. Looks to get a shot at centered in front, broken up on the play. Xavier Fortan has it behind the Fredonia net. Looks to center a quick shot up in front and misses. Saved by Barbeau. Quick shot came from the point from Jack Ring, but it is saved by Barbeau on the play.
puck will be dumped into the Fredonia corner. Jack Schlipke has it. Looks to put a move on his defender, dumps it in. Behind the Plattsburg net. Fredonia will break it up. Jack Schlipke dumps it in. Looks like we will have a penalty called. It will be on Plattsburgh. It will be Bennett Stockdale going to the box for a cross-checking penalty. So Fredonia will have its first opportunity on the power play early on with 8.52 left in the first period. They were 0 for 2 on the power play last night. Try to get an early goal here against Plattsburgh. Plattsburgh wins the face off and just clears it down ice. So Ryan Bailey will look to bring it across the Plattsburgh blue line but offside so the face off will come just outside of the Plattsburgh line. Face-off is won by Fredonia. Fredonia will look to reset. St. Andre passes in. Behind the, behind the Plattsburgh net. Johnny Mellon dribble to Ethan Pittsman. Pittsman all the way around the boards to Ryan Bailey. Ooh, nice stick to try to keep it in by Xavier Fortan, but it does come out of the line, so they have, Fredonia will reset. Ryan Bailey up to St. Onge. St. Owens moves in across the line, dumps it in behind the Plattsburgh net, and the puck will be up and out of play in the netting. Minute five remains in the penalty to Brennan Stockdale, the cross-checking penalty. Fredonia will win the face off, but it will come all the way down to behind the Fredonia net. As Fredonia drives up, looks to get something going, gents. Joe Santoro will just shoot it down deep. Garrison Gag now. Johnny Ayanzo. Johnny Ayanzo looks to drop a quick pass. Come back to Ayanzo. We'll get Gag now. All the way to the circle, up to Ayanzo. High shot, just high and wide. Kipped it on the play by Baxter Kimball. Cross leg pass to Johnny Ayanzo, who keeps it in. Look to get a quick tip, and it tips just wide. And Plattsburgh will clear it all the way down the ice with 13 seconds. But we'll see if they can get one quick last rush in. Barbeau lets him know the penalty is just about to expire. So Stockdale will come out of the box, right to his bench. And Plattsburgh will kill the penalty off. Plattsburgh has control. Play will come below the, the Fredonia net. Fredonia will bring it in. Quick shot to the point saved by Barbeau. Fredonia will look to bring it across center, but Plattsburgh will just shoot it right back in, and Barbeau will glove it up and hold on to it. So to the face off to the left of Barbeau, won by Plattsburgh, fanned on the shot. 
Colin Pat Callahan, Callahan with it. Quick shot, saved by Barbeau. Behind the Fredonia net, Adam Hawkins is there to break it up. To keep it in, and they will. Colin Callahan with it. St. Ange loses his stick, looks to do a wraparound, but saved by Barbeau over to the far corner. There's two Fedonia players without their stick now on the ice. Adam Hawkins is the other player without his stick. Both of them will go to the bench as Fredonia does the line change. Plays behind the Plattsburgh net. Plattsburgh will look to drive it down ice, but instead shoots it right into their own bench. As the crowd cheers for the referees, finally picking up St. Anja's stick, who was left on the ice. So the faceoff will come to the right of Plattsburgh's net. Puck is behind the net, coming into the near corner. Jump back around behind the net. It's Joe Santoro with it. Puck will squeeze out, and Plattsburgh will clear it out of the zone. Excellent stick on the way, on the play by Xavier Fortan to steal it away. He looks to drive up with some speed. Dumps it off to Joe Santoro, who took the shot on net, saved by Jacob Hearn. Plattsburgh has it behind their own net. Fredonia is going to get a quick line change in. 4.17 remaining in the first period. Oh, a nice break up on the play by Fredonia. That's David Subbrink. Quick shot by Jack Schlipke is tipped high and into the netting and out of play. So face up with the left of Jacob Hearn. Battle for right out of the face off. Ultimately, Plattsburgh ends up with the puck. David Subbrink has it in the corner. David Subbrink, quick shot, saved by Jacob Hearn. Quick shot from the right circle. Fredonia will look to pass it up. Comes out of the zone, so Fredonia will have to exit and reset. Plattsburgh enters the zone. Up to Trey Thomas. Trey Thomas to Thomas Mejia. And the ring, they look to pass back to Jack Ring, and it will come all the way down behind the net. Jacob Hearn has to get back to his net in a hurry as Fredoni is putting pressure on behind the net. Puck comes back out to center. Dumped in on the play by Thomas Mier. He and Furlonger has it. Over to Garris and Gagnon. It's dumped in behind the Plattsburgh net. Comes right out in front. Adam Hawkins with a quick shot looking for a tip. Tipped wide. Plattsburgh will exit the zone. It's Thomas Mahia with it. St. Ange has it for Fredonia. Passes over to Ethan Pittsman. Dumps it in the zone, sidesteps his defender. Looks to center it in front. Nobody was home for that pass. Play comes outside of the line. Fredonia still has excellent control of it. Curry Woodford has it for Fredonia. Plays it off the boards up to Ryan Bailey. St. Ange dumps it into the far corner. Pass will be tipped in behind the Fredonia net. Johnny Aonza has it. And up into the Fredonia bench in the stoppage of play with 2.05 left here in the first period. The faceoff will come to the left of Barbo. Joe Santoro takes the faceoff. Plattsburgh wins.
Battleford along the near boards. Passed up to the point of Vitali. Plattsburgh will just keep it in. Below the net to Colin Callahan. Looks to center, quick shot in front and broken up on the play by Fredonia. Nolan Underwood dumps it into the Plattsburgh end. As far as the play will go as he had no support as they were in the middle of a line change. Quick shot wide by Plattsburgh. Big hit by Jack Schlupke on the near boards. Kieran Furlonger, and it will be stoppage of play for a glove pass. Fredonia coached today by Jeff Meredith in his 36th season with the Blue Devils, assisted by Brian Regali as his assistant coach and student assistant Parker Brakeville, who is unfortunately out this year due to injury. He wins the face off. Long pass up to Jack Schlipke, just out of his reach. Flatsburg will look to control, just dumps it into the corner or rather offsides that will be on Plattsburgh. Minute five remain here in the first period. Face off will be just outside of the Fredonia blue line. Ryan Bailey versus Jake Laney. Face off is won by Fredonia. One minute remains here in the first period of play. Plattsburgh has it behind their own net. Play will come to the other side of center. No icing on the play. is a good hustle by both teams to get back and make a play on the puck. Plattsburgh comes out of the corner with it. Cross lays packs to DiMaggio. DiMaggio looks to center. Wide play comes out of the Fredonia end. It's brought back in by Plattsburgh on the play. And a save, quick shot by Barbeau. And we have a little, little extracurriculars afterwards behind the Fredonia net. That's Ryan Bailey getting into it with Tio Deardo of Plattsburgh. And the crowd loves it. Ryan Bailey did not like a late hit that was applied after the whistle, and he let him know about it. So both. So both players will go to the box for that. So we'll have a little four on four hockey for the remaining 14.4 seconds left in this first period. So that will be Ryan Bailey and Tio Deardo going to the box. Presumably for roughing. So we've got a good physical hockey game here early on, folks. Faceoff is was to the right of Barbeau, won by Fredonia, but stolen away on the play by Plattsburgh. It's final seconds tick away. Plattsburgh looks to get off the shot, wide on the side of the net, and that is the end of the first period. Excellent first period for your Blue Devils as they came out hot and they came out with physicality after last night's loss. We'll be back in 15 minutes for the remainder of the second period and third.
and welcome back to Steel Hall Ice Arena. Game still tied between the Plattsburgh Cardinals and your Fredonia State Blue Devils. 0-0, we have a little 4-on-4 four four hockey for another minute 40. Ryan Bailey and Tio, or sorry, not Ryan Bailey. Yes, it is Ryan Bailey and Tio Deardo are in the box for roughing. Fredonia will look to enter the goal. It's Ethan Pittsman. Pass is broken up on the play by Plattsburgh. Shot by Vitali is wide. Fredonia will look to enter the zone. Dumped in by Garrison Gagnon. Whistle and a stoppage of play for an offsides. So the faceoff will come just outside the Fredoni blue line on the near side. Will be Dylan Schmidt take the faceoff. Faceoff is won by Plattsburgh. Plattsburgh look, looks to dump it in. to center, comes to the near boards. Battle for it below the Fredonia net. Goes up to Logan Bulger. Takes a quick shot. Shot is tipped high and into the netting behind the net. Six seconds remain in the Bailey and Adardo penalty. Faceoff will be to the right of Barbeau, won by Plattsburgh. Shot in behind the Fredonia net. Shot from the point is hit high and out of play. So as the penalty expires, we're back to full strength. Throwing into his zone with the Baxter Kimball looks to take a shot is wide. Nolan Underwood looks to keep it in, but it comes out of the line. Fredonia driven back into their own end. Plattsburgh with it. Here and Furlong dumps it in on net. Jacob Hearn will drop it. Furlonger with a quick shot wide. Another shot off the post. That was Nick Newman with the shot that went off the, the off the far post. Nick Newman with it again, dumps it below the net for Baxter Kimball. Kimball is hit, and a delayed penalty, and a penalty on Plattsburgh. It'll be a cross-checking penalty called on Plattsburgh. It'll be called on Spencer Bolina. So, Fredonia will have their second power play opportunity of the game. Their top power play unit is out there. Face off one by Ryan Bailey. Quick shot by Xavier Fortan. Kept in by Fortan. Another quick shot and saved on the play by Jacob Hearn. Two quick shots from the point by Xavier Fortan. Fredonia gets an excellent quick look on the power play. Faceoff will be to the left of Jacob Hearn. Brian Bailey looks to take the faceoff. Faceoff is won by Plattsburgh. It's Halley with it. Shoots it all the way down the ice. 
right on net, and as they have plat two platform players coming at the net, Barbal will just hang on to it. Faceoff will be to the right of Barbo. Faceoff won by Perdonia. Perdonia will look to get something going. So they leave it, drop it back. Ryan Bailey looks to come in. Drops it below the Plattsburgh net. Even Pittsman over to the far corner. Three Pedonia players battle with it. Pedonia comes out of the pile with it, but it is ending up clear down the ice by Plattsburgh. One minute remains in the Spencer Bolina cross-striking penalty. Xavier Fortan leaves it. Joe Santoro dumps it in below the net. Harrison Gagnon, over to Joe Santoro. Joe Santoro, up to Johnny Ayanzo. Back to Ayanzo. Quick shot, oh, just missed by Harrison Gagnon on the far side. As a battle for on the far corner. Sonia comes out with it, up to Gagnon. Looks to sidestep his defender, up to David Subring. Gagnon, quick shot. Blocked on the play by Plattsburgh. Gagnon keeps it in. Over to the far corner. Centering pass, broken up. There's saying Gagnon dumps it in for Baxter Kimbrough. David Subring looks to center it. Instead behind the Plattsburgh net. Centers it. Johnny Ayanzo. Johnny Ayanzo, quick shot. Ooh, just steered wide. There's saying Gagnon dumps it in. Penalty, penalty, power play is over. Plattsburgh looks to drive down offensively with speed. Takes the hump behind the Fredonia net with it. Quick shot is wide. We'll come to the center ice. Where he's broken up on the play. Plattsburgh keeps it in the Fredonia zone by Logan Balger. Over. Brendan Dempsey looks to drop it in. Broken up by Plattsburgh. David Subrink met with a hard hit at center ice. Quick shot saved by Barbeau. Pad saved by Barbeau on the quick shot from the point. Jurasek has it for Plattsburgh, dumps it up. Another quick shot steered away by Barbeau. Kept in by Plattsburgh. Battle for it on the far boards with Riley Sutherland. Quick centering pass, nobody home for Plattsburgh. Another pass broken up. Tipped out of the zone by Fredonia. Excellent speed by Ethan Pittsman to avoid the icing. Has it behind the net, looks to center, broken up on the play. It's Trey Thomas. Centering pass broken up. As Plattsburgh looks to try to have an odd man rush, Fredonia will get back. Trey Thomas shot, blocked in front. Trey Thomas looks to pass in front, stolen away on the play. That's Nick Newman. Nick Newman dumps it into the corner. Plattsburgh with a board pass. On the potential breakaway, saved by Barbeau. An excellent save. Suttering pass is broken up in front. Cross ice pass. Quick shot, wide. Malin, du Malin Drupal puts pressure on Jake Laney. Laney dumps it behind his net. 
Singer has it. Has it. Behind the net, Baxter Kimbrell has it for Fredonia. No underwood for Baxter Kimbrell. Looks to do a wraparound. Kept in on the play by Curry Woodford. Woodford, quick shot, and he scores! Curry Woodford on a quick shot. And it puts the Blue Devils up 1-0. A quick shot from the near circle by Curry Woodford finds the back of the net and beats Jacob Hearn just above the glove side. And this crowd is loving it. So Fredonia jumps out to a 1-0 lead with 12.07 remaining in the second period. So faceoff comes back to center ice after the early goal. Fredonia wins it. Another quick shot by Adam Hawkins and say it on the play by Jacob Hearn. Man, that Curry, Curry Woodford shot hit the post, hit the crossbar, and went in. Beautiful sound in the game of hockey. So the faceoff is to the right of Jacob Hearn, won by Plattsburgh. Plattsburgh with a quick shot is wide. So the goal scored by Curry Woodford, assisted by Baxter Kimball. That is Curry Woodford's second goal of the year. Fredonia has it. Tipped to the other side of center by Ethan Pittsman. Ethan Pittsman dumps it into the near corner. Dumped in Kieran Furlonger. Up. Spencer Valina had it. Pass up to center. Flyswood will enter the zone. Cross ice pass. A little out of the reach. Good stick by Fredonia to break up the pass from behind the net. The up and out. Ryan Bailey tips it in. No icing on the play for Plattsburgh. Comes behind the Fredonia net. Barbo will clear it over to the near corner. No icing called on the play. This will be a long pass up by Plattsburgh. No icing called on that play. Sure seemed like there could have been. Stolen away on the play. Quick shot, blocked. Curry Woodford dumps it into the corner. Battle for it along the near corner. Malin Drukolo ends up with it. Passes to the far corner where Adam Hawkins is waiting. Adam Hawkins dumps it back to Johnny Malin Drukolo. Malin Drukolo. Up to Nick Newman. Nick Newman with it. Looks to go between the legs. Comes out in front and steered away by Plattsburgh. Kept in on the play by Joe Santoro. Joe Santoro to Nick Newman behind the Plattsburgh net. They have plenty of guys in front. Oh, just missed by Santoro. Couldn't get a handle on the puck. He had a beautiful opportunity right in front of the net. Sipped in on the play by Fredonia and glove saved by Jacob Hearn. So with 9.09 remaining in the second period, the Blue Devils have a one nothing lead thanks to a Curry Woodford one-timer from the near circle. That was Baxter Kimball's first assist on the year on the Curry Woodford goal. Brings him to four points. He has three goals on the season. Another quick save from the circle. I believe that shot came from Baxter Kimball, saved by Jacob Hearn.
dumped down into the Fredonia corner. Stolen away on the play by Nolan Underwood. Cross ice pass to Braxter Kimball, broken up by Plattsburgh. So Johnny Ayanza blew a tire in the corner. Battle for it along the near corner. This puck will be lifted up and over center ice. Fogg has it for Plattsburgh behind his own net, pressured by Baxter Kimball. Pass up for Plattsburgh, out of the reach. Ryan Hogg has it for Plattsburgh. Dumped back in on the play by Dempsey, but Fredoni was offside, so they will have to abandon the play. David Sumbrink has it. Looks to center a pass for Brendan Dempsey. Stick breaks it up for Plattsburgh. As Dempsey and Subring battle for it along the corner. Squeaks out to the other side, David Subring. And a glove to keep it in by Kieran Furlong. Let's take a quick shot. Stick breaks it up. Kept in on the play by Fredonia. This will come out. Plattsburgh dumps it in deep. Looks to get a quick shot off Barbeau. Saves, looks for the wraparound, and they score. Wraparound goal on the play by Paul Breyer for Plattsburgh. Ties this game at one. So we have some discussions between the refs and Jeff Meredith at the Fredonia bench. Meredith looking to get some explanation on the goal, I believe. Let's raise that. He's looking to get some explanation on a Kieran Furlong or penalty there. Not quite sure what the penalty is. We will let you know as soon as we find out. Meredith was clearly not happy with the call, looking to get some sort of explanation from the refs. So, Fredoni will look to kill off this penalty. Plattsburgh plays it along the blue line. Hogg has it over Vitali. Vitali has it. This is back to Catron. Catron looks to try to open up a shooting lane. Dumps it behind the Fredonia. Cardinal goal scored by number 15, Matt Stockdale. With the assist, number 10, Joshua Belgrade. That's Stockdale from Belgrade. Time of goal is 12.42. Here it looks like it was scored by Bennett Stockdale, the Plattsburgh goal. Boot up the penalty at number 34, Kieran Furlonger. Two minutes of tripping. It's a tripping call on Kieran Furlonger. 55 seconds remain in the Blue Devil penalty kill. Plattsburgh looks to center of a shot. Fredonia sticks break it up. Shot across, quick shot from Vitali. Missed. Battle for it behind the net. Barbo is on his stomach. Plattsburgh keeps it in though. Fans on the shot. And Fredonia will clear it all the way down the ice with 25 seconds left in the penalty. When it looks to get some fresh legs out there. Dumped in behind the Fredonia net. Johnny Ayonzo and David Subring battle for it. Five seconds remaining in the penalty. Quick shot from the near circle, and it is a goal for Plattsburgh. 
beat Anthony Barbeau glove side on a quick shot from the near circle. I believe the score was scored by number nine for Plattsburgh, Theo Deardo. I don't believe that Barbeau ever saw that shot coming. Face off is won by Fredonia, dumped into the Plattsburgh zone. Play is at center. Garrison Gag now will take the puck deep into his own end. To his partner and Kieran Plattsburgh will exit the zone, dump it in deep, the far corner. Turn for longer. Jake Laney and Logan Bulger will get the assist on the second Plattsburgh goal. And we have a whistle and a stoppage of play. So, two quick Plattsburgh goals gives Plattsburgh a two to one lead with 4.14 remaining here in the second period. So the face up will come just outside the Plattsburgh line on the far side. Nolan Underwood will take the face off. It is won by Plattsburgh. Xavier Fortan races to the puck. Curry Woodford with it. Up to Joe Santoro. Broken up on the play by Plattsburgh. Dumped back into the Fredonia end. Xavier Fortan with it behind the net. Pressured heavily by Adam Tretzowitz. Ooh, Woodford had it behind his net. Joe Santoro looks to end of the zone with speed. Gonna move on his defender. With it behind the net. Leaves it, nobody home. Ronio looks to bring it up on a Spadonia steals the puck back, brings it across their blue line. And icing. Icing is called on the play on Fredonia. So the faceoff will come to the right of Barbo. One by Fredonia. Cross ice pass to Ethan Pittsman. Ryan Bailey drives in with speed. Centers, Adam Hawkins. Quick shot blocked in the play by Vitali. So Fredonia will go to the power play again. On a holding call on Plattsburgh. There will be Paul Breyer in the box with Plattsburgh on a holding call, so it'll send Fredonia back to the power play. Fredonia has their top unit out there. Ryan Bailey, St. Owen, Jethan Pittsman, Malin Drucolo, and Xavier Force hand. Kept in on the by Malin Drucolo. Looks with some moves on. Quick shot blocked. Over to the far corner, Ryan Bailey with it, leaves it for Ethan Pittsman. Pittsman up to Fortan. Fortan back to Bailey. Bailey looks to open up a shooting lane. Down below to Jolly, Johnny Mellon Drucolo. Kept in by St. Ange. Mellon Drucolo with it, up to Fortan. 
Fortan over to Bailey. Fortan to Malandrucolo. Malandrucolo, quick shot, save. Battle forward along in the near boards. And a whistle and a stoppage of play. So with a minute 15 remaining in the Fredonia penalty, we will have four on four hockey as they call Antoine Saint-Ange for a tripping call in the corner. So we'll have four on four hockey for a minute 15 and then 45 seconds of a blue double penalty kill. So that will bring the face off to the left of Barbo. Faceoff is one on the play by Fredonia. Plattsburgh has it behind the Fredonia net. Looks to do a centering pass. Broken up on the play by Curry Woodford. Curry Woodford has it. Pass is high. Up and over and brought out of the zone by Nolan Underwood. That puck will come up and into the Fredonia bench. And out of play. So the faceoff will come just outside of the Plattsburgh blue line. Dade Subbring takes the faceoff, one by Fredonia. Plattsburgh steals it away. Singer has it. Looks to drive in, crosses the Fredonia line, takes it all the way down to the near corner. Ben Stockdale with it, leaves it in the corner. Xavier Fortan with it. Tips it and broke and stolen away on the play by Plattsburgh. Singer has it for Plattsburgh. One minute remains here in the second period. Shot on net and saved by Barbeau. Fredonia will look to pass up to center to back to Kimbrell. Fans are looking for a cross-checking penalty. None is called. 35 seconds remain in the Antoine Saint-Ange penalty. Cleared and out of the zone by Fredonia. Ryan Bailey takes a hard hit. Plattsburgh with it up to the point. Over to Hogg. Hogg has it. Looking to develop a shooting lane. Quick shot saved by Barbeau on the play. Quick shot from the point. Saved by Barbeau. Saw coming all the way. So Fredonia does kill off the penalty kill. Faceoff will be to the right of Barbo. One off by Plattsburgh. Quick shot is wide. And that is the end of the second period. So three goals scored in that second period. One by Curry Woodford for Fredonia and two for Plattsburgh scored by Bennett Stockdale and Teo De Ardo. So we're through two here, we're through 40 here at uh, Steel Hall. We'll be back in 15 minutes for the third period.
and welcome back to Steel Hall Ice Arena for the final 20 minutes of your Fredonia State Blue Devil Hockey versus the Plattsburgh State Cardinals. Faceoff at center ice is won by Ryan Bailey. Curry Woodford with the puck for Fredonia up to Bailey. Dumps it into the corner. Curry Woodford with a stick to knock the puck out of midair. Plattsburgh ends up with the puck. Hogg has it for Plattsburgh. Passes too far out of the reach of Laney. St. Arms races after the puck. Put up to the far side. Dump back in behind the net by Garrison Gagnon. Turn for longer. And it's dumped out of the zone by Plattsburgh. Plattsburgh will dump it into the Fedoni onto the ice. Gagnon has it for Fedoni up to four longer. Over to Dylan Schmidt. Passes off Schmidt's stick and back into the Fedoni end. Plattsburgh dumps it back into the Fedonia side of center. And Plattsburgh scores. Perfectly executed pass in the front of the net by Plattsburgh. And it makes the score three to one, Plattsburgh. An assist on the play from Luke Jurasek to Aaron Catron for Plattsburgh make the score three to one with 18.44 remaining in the third period. Jurasek for Plattsburgh is from Whitehorse, Yukon, a familiar home of a familiar Buffalo Sabres player, Dylan Cousins. Shot was up and high over the Fredonia net. Joe Santoro applies a big hit on the near boards. Battle forward along the near corner. Nolan Underwood with it, comes out from behind the Fedonia net. Joe Santoro on the right side. Joe Santoro dumps it in deep. Plattsburgh will dump it into the far corner. Bortan has it for Fedonia. Passes it up. Fedonia shot on net by Jack Schliffke and saved by Jacob Hearn. So the faceoff will come to the right side of Jacob Hearn. Faceoff is won by Plattsburgh on the play. Curry Woodford has the puck for Fredonia. Looks to enter across center and he will. Dumps it deep into the far corner. Quick shot by David Sumbring goes just wide. Big hit on the far corner, and we have a Plattsburgh player down on the ice. Appears to be Josh Belgrave for Plattsburgh. Went down in a heap in a hurry. Their athletic trainer is out there taking a look at him. Belgrave is able to enter the ice off of his own power. Belgrave did appear to be okay on the play. He's back on his bench with his teammates. So Fredonia will draw two penalties on the play. So two Blue Devils will be in the box. Not quite sure who is in the box right this second. One of them is Jack Schlifke. 
soon as we find out what the other pe what the penalties exactly were called for, I will let you know. Presuming the one on Jack Schlipke is, he was the first in the box as a cross check up to the face region of Josh Belgrave of Plattsburgh. So, Fedoni will look to kill off the penalty. Battle for it along the nearest corner. Squeezes out. Bennett Stockdale has it for Plattsburgh. Up to Deardo. Deardo up to Logan Bulger. Ball Jordan Adam Tretowitz. Tretowitz up to Deardo. Quick shot saved by the play on Barbeau. Behind the Fredonia net, Adam Hawkins has it. Stolen away on the play by Plattsburgh. Logan Bulger will keep it in for Plattsburgh up to Deardo. Whistle and a stoppage of play. Minute 12 remains in the penalty to Jack Schlipke. So Brendan Dempsey will be in the box for a 10 minute misconduct. So Fredonia will be short of a forward for the next roughly eight minutes as 45 seconds remain in the power play for Plattsburgh. Shot from the point by Vitali was, was wide. Down below the net centering pass is cut off. Stolen away on the play, Plattsburgh remains with possession for Andrew Catton. Shot from Vitali is blocked on the play by David Subring. And the play will come outside of the Fredonia side of the center. Plattsburgh looks, put it off the side of the net. Hogg had it, leaves it in the corner. Paul Breyer has it for Plattsburgh over to Jurasek. Jurasek up to Breyer, centering pass broken up by Fredonia. Kept in on the play by Hogg. Still in b by Plattsburgh. Paul Breyer saved by Barbeau. And Johnny Ayanza will clear it down ice. So the Jack Schlupke penalty expires. Brendan Dumpsey will be in the box for the next eight minutes on a 10 minute misconduct penalty. Fifteen oh eight remains here in the third period. Plattsburgh leads Sierra Fredoni Blue Devils by a score of three to one. Faceoff is one on the play by Plattsburgh as they dump it into the Fredonia far corner. No one underwood has it for Fredonia. Fans on the pass. Santor is there to back him up. Dumped right back in by Plattsburgh. Sutherland will have to go to the bench for Plattsburgh as the stick had snapped in half. Trey Thomas dumps it in below the Fredonia net. Joe Santoro has it. Stick broken up on the pass. Over to Xavier Fortan. Fortan back to Gagnon. Gagnon will look to pass it up, but Fredonia was changing, so it will go all the way down the ice for an icing. are trying to clear the stick off the ice. The refs seem to have no interest in that. So they'll kick it to a zone where they'll have no choice but to get rid of it. So faceoff will be to the right of Barbeau. One by Plattsburgh. They out up to Singer. Singer over to Jack Ring. Centered in front, saved by Barbeau. And the second rebound save is gathered up and in the pads of Barbeau.
Faceoff will be to the left of Barbeau. Faceoff is won by Fredonia. Adam Hawkins up to St. Ange. St. Ange looks to carry it out. He will. Bit of steam going forward across the Plattsburgh blue line. Quick shot by St. Ange, gathered up by Jacob Hearn. St. Ange had a bit of speed and a bit of space up the near side. Decided to speed up the ice and take the quick shot. Ended up being saved by Hearn on the play. St. Ange is your Fredonia goal scoring leader. He has five on the season. He did score in the three to one loss last night to Potsdam. Quick shot by Adam Hawkins from the point. Is gathered up and swallowed by Jacob Hearn. So Fredonia getting some quick shots off, hoping to get some past Hearn to try to crawl back into this two goal deficit. Brian Bailey will take the face off on the, to the right of Hearn. Or the left, rather, that is. Rough one from the reset. They, we will. Bailey will win the face off. Adam Hawkins down below the Plattsburgh net. Plattsburgh has it behind their own net. Up in will come to the Fredonia side of center. Lifted right back onto the Plattsburgh side is Adam Hawkins. Hawkins will reset over to Kieran for longer. Pittsman will throw a shot right up and on to Hearn, who will just cover it up as he had Ryan Bailey driving hard towards them at the net. Nick Newman will take the face off to the left to Jacob Hearn. It is won by Plattsburgh. Fredonia will dump it right into the far corner. Malandruco up to Ayanzo. Ayanzo, quick shot. Oh, saved by Hearn. Almost got by him, but he put the blocker out to make the save. Quick shot off the point by Belgrave. Great to see him back on the ice, and it is paddled away by Barbeau up and out of play. one remains here in the third period. Plattsburgh still has a 3-1 lead. David Suffering will take the face off to the right of Barbeau. One by Ferdonia. Jack Schlifke will dump it into the corner. Plattsburgh ends up with the puck. Drops it up to Adam Tretzowitz. Tretzowitz enters the Ferdonia side of ice. Johnny Ayanzo with the puck behind his own net. Up to Baxter Kimbrough. Kimbrough will look to pass up to Schlipke just out of his reach and stolen away by Plattsburgh. So we will have a penalty called on Josh Belgrave of Plattsburgh. So Fredonia will look to enter the power play and hopefully look to get a goal to try to bring it into a one goal game down two goals. So they'll send their top power play unit out there again of Ryan Bailey, Johnny Malin, Drew Colo, Ethan Pittsman, Xavier Fortan, and Antoine St. Ange. Plattsburgh will clear it right down the ice onto Barbeau. Fortan will come back and gather the puck. Watch closely by Trey Thomas. So Fortan will look to get something started here for his Blue Devils. Passes back to St. Ange. St. Ange over to Ryan Bailey. Bailey over to Malin, Drew Colo. So two minute roughing penalty on Belgrave. Plattsburgh will clear it down the ice again. Bermo will look to get something going as he passes it up to St. Unge. St. Unge decides to retreat back to his goal line. Fortan with it behind the net. Has Trey Laney watching him. And he looks to get something as they drive, pass back. Ryan Bailey. Bailey leaves it off the boards for St. Unge. St. Unge or rather Fortan that is, dumps it into the corner. Valandrugola looks to put a spin move on. Valandrugola has it over to St. Ange, up to Xavier Fortan, who takes a quick shot from the point, and it is gobbled up by Hurran on the play.
So Fredonia will put a new power play unit out there. Consisting of Joe Zantoro, David Subring, Johnny Ayanzo, and Garrison Gagnon. Gagnon has the puck. Over to the far side for Ayanzo. Ayanzo dumps it down to the corner. We have Baxter Kimberl behind the net. Kimberl up to Subring. Subring has it. Watched closely by two Plattsburgh defenders. Subring with it behind the net with Kimbrough. Puck squeezes out. Johnny Ayanzo has it. Between the legs pass. Well, between two Plattsburgh legs, that is. Quick shot by Ayanzo. Blocked and up and out of play. 20, minute, 20 seconds remain, rather, that is, in the Josh Belgrave two-minute roughing penalty. 10.57 remains in the third period. So the faceoff will be to the left of Jacob Hearn. Joe Santoro takes the faceoff, one by Fredonia. Quick shot off the faceoff by Johnny Ayanzo, blocked by Plattsburgh. Plattsburgh got a two-on-one developing. Bennett Stockdale over to Trey Laney, but Trey Laney could not gather the puck, and a save by Bar Barbeau as it went right to him. Subring looks to drive for one last shot. They will not get a last shot off as the penalty expires. Gagnon has it, up to Subring. Subring chooses to dump it in as Fredonia gets a line change in. Stockdale has it for Plattsburgh. He will shoot this thing high into the air. Settles back down, Fredonia has it, Garrison Gagnon. Gagnon up to Dylan Schmidt, and Fredonia is off sides. So the faceoff will come just outside of the Plattsburgh zone on the near side. Faceoff is won by Trey Thomas of Plattsburgh. Nick Newman has it for Fredonia, passes up to Dylan Schmidt. Dylan Schmidt over to the board behind the, the Plattsburgh net. Plattsburgh will look to develop something as they head back into their zone. Now coming up to the Fredonia side of center. Dumped in by Jack Ring. Curry Woodford with it behind the Fredonia net. And Trey Thomas battle scored along with Curry Woodford on the far side. Ring has it. Dumps it to Paul Breyer. Trey Thomas with it up to Breyer. Back up to Ring. Ring over to Singer. Singer with Ring. Ring calls for the puck. Ring looks to put on a move over to Singer. They'll dump it behind the Fredonia net and Nolan Underwood and Curry Woodford battle for it. Curry and Furlong grounds up with the puck for Fredonia. As they will just lift it to the Plattsburgh side of center and they will get a line change in. 9.05 remaining in the third period as Plattsburgh looks to come to the Fredonia side of center and they will. Plattsburgh dumps it in behind the Fredonia net. Xavier Fortan behind the net. This puck goes high and still behind the net. They will look to present another wraparound. Plattsburgh centers a pass, no one home. Adam Hawkins has it for Fredonia. St. Ange up to Ethan Pittsman. Ethan Pittsman looks to put on a move, but it takes a nasty hit. Xavier Fortan racing after it, behind his own net. Over to Hawkins. Ryan Bailey has it. Bailey up to Santoro in his skates and stolen away by Plattsburgh. Hawkins has it to Fortan. Fortan back to Hawkins. Hawkins looks to go to Santoro who is speeding across the middle but is broken up by Plattsburgh. Fortan has it behind his own net. Looks to send it up to Joe Santoro. Santoro over to St. Ange. St. Ange looks to pass it up and it is blocked by Plattsburgh. Subrink has it. And it will be a icing call on Fredonia. So 
the faceoff will come to the right of Barbeau. Santoro will take the faceoff. It is won by Plattsburgh. Xavier Fortan has it, leaves it up to Jack Schlifke. Schlifke over to Subring. Subring looks to put on a move, quick shot, and glove save by Hearn. Quick shot by David Subring is gloved up by Jacob Hearn with 7.33 remaining in the third period. Faceoff was to the right of Jacob Hearn. It was won by Plattsburgh. Nick Newman with the puck for Fredonia back to Garrison Gagnon. Gagnon takes it off the board behind his own net. Trey Laney has it for Plattsburgh. Alan Drugula breaks it up and forces Plattsburgh back to their side of center. Kelly shovels one in and it's on net and Barbeau will just club it up and hold on to it. off to the right of Barbeau, taken by Nick Newman. Nick Newman wins the faceoff. Shoveled around behind the Fedonia net, kept in by Plattsburgh. St. Ange will dump it into the Plattsburgh zone. Plattsburgh will enter behind the net is, is Hogg. Looks to center, broken up by Fredonia. Stolen away, tipped up to Joe Santoro, a little out of his reach, and Plattsburgh will re regain control. Dumped back into the far corner by Plattsburgh. Curry Woodford with it. Battle of the 27s down in the corner. And Nolan Underwood will pass up to Baxter Kimball, breaking up on the play. And Fredonia gets back to prevent the odd man rush. Quick shot by Trey Thomas and glove save by Barbeau. Six oh seven remains in the third period. Plattsburgh still holding on to a three to one lead. Off is won by Ryan Bailey. Bailey up to St. Orange. St. Orange looks to center a pass to Pittsman, just out of his reach. Plattsburgh will dump it into the far corner, will roll all the way down to the near boards. Ward Callahan will have it for Plattsburgh. Sends it back around to Ring. Ring leaves it and Fredoni ends up with the puck that is Garrison Gagnon. Gagnon to Fortan. Fortan leaves it for Gagnon, will pass up to St. Orange, will pass it up to Bailey. Bailey crossed the, the Plattsburgh side of center and will lose control of the puck there. Stolen away by Plattsburgh. Jack Green looks to center a pass. Only player there was Brendan Dempsey. Big hit on the near boards on St. Orange. Jurasek threw the hit on St. Orange. Left in the corner for Garrison Gagnon. Gagnon to St. Orange. Plattsburgh will enter their side of ice and look to recenter another rush. Dumped deep down in the, the Fredonia corner. Big hit on Fortan applied in the corner by Josh Belgrave. Then we'll adjust his face mask and pass over to Gagnon. Plays down in the Plattsburgh corner. Now coming on to center ice, Plattsburgh centers. Quick shot from the point by Plattsburgh. Spencer's Bolina, saved by Barbeau.
Face off is in the Fredonia end, won by Fredonia. Stolen away by Plattsburgh. Look to center a pass, but broken up by Fredonia. Yamsel battling a four behind the net with Hawkins. Dylan Schmidt will enter the Plattsburgh side of ice. And it is in the Plattsburgh corner. Plattsburgh has it behind their own net. Trey Laney for Plattsburgh. Cross slice pass to Deardo. Deardo has it to Trey Laney. Centering pass is broken up by Fredonia. Nick Newman has it for Fredonia and will look to center it up, but it will go all the way down the ice for an icing. So with 3.48 remaining, Fredonia will look to try to get this and gain control in the Plattsburgh end, presumably take Barbeau and get the extra skater. But for now, the faceoff will come to the left, to the right side of Barbeau. Then has their second line of Johnny Malandruco, Nick Newman, and Dylan Schmidt on the ice. Newman will win the faceoff. Plattsburgh will just dump it down into the Fredonia corner again. Kieran Furlonger has it. Furlonger over to Go up to Nick Newman. Newman and Kimbrell both apply hits on the near side. Santoro has the puck for Fredonia as Plattsburgh comes to the Fredonia side of center. Quick shot by Trey Thomas is wide. and we will have a penalty called on the play. So Johnny Ayanzo appears to be going to the box on a cross-checking penalty with 3.12 remaining. Yes, I will be Johnny Ayanzo to the box for a cross-checking penalty with 3.12 remaining in the third period. Face off to the right of Barbo, won by Fredonia. Adam Hawkins with it. And Ethan Pittsman will just clear it down the ice. Jurasek will cross the Fredonia blue line. We'll pass it back up to Brian Hogg. Hog over to Vitali, Vitali to Patron. Behind the net is Jurasek, looks to center a pass, broken up on the play by Fredonia. And Woodford will just send it down the ice. Plattsburgh looks to regain control and enter the, and set something up in the Fredonia end, but instead they will be offsides. Faceoff is won by Trey Laney of Plattsburgh. Plattsburgh with it in their own end, watched by St. Ange. They will carry it over and broken up and back into the Plattsburgh end is Plattsburgh. Nearly had a breakaway opportunity, but Ring had to wait for it to cross ice, so by the time it did, it was out of his reach. Deardo has it for Plattsburgh. Deardo over the ring. Stick broke on the shot. So Gagnon battle, battles for it on the far corner. Still a battle for it on the far corner. 12 seconds remain in the penalty, minute 20 in the game. Somebody's got to clear this puck out of there. And eventually it does squeeze free, but into Plattsburgh possession. Trey Laney has it for Plattsburgh. 
Laney and broken up and stolen on the play by Underwood. Underwood will look to drive some, get something going. Drops it off to David Subring. Subring over to Curry Woodford. Woodford drops it behind his own net. One minute remains here in the third period. Bronia needs two goals. They have it behind the Plattsburgh net. Barbeau has gone to the bench for the extra skater. Pittsman has it behind the, the Plattsburgh net. Looks to center and it will trickle out of the zone. And a breakaway opportunity and a empty net goal scored by Bennett Stockdale, his second of the game for Plattsburgh. And that should pretty much do it for Plattsburgh. With 28.2 seconds remaining and a four to one lead for Plattsburgh. Empty netter scored by Bennett Stockdale. So Fredonia will win the faceoff. Look to try to at least get one more goal on the board here. Quick shot thrown to the front of the net by Jack Schlifke. Steered away by Jacob Hearn. And Flatsburg will be content just to kind of stand behind their net and let this clock run out. And Fredonia will do the same. So that will do it here from Steel Hall Ice Arena. Final score of today's game is 4-1 in favor of Plattsburgh. Fredonia's only score, goal scored by number 27, Curry Woodford, and for Plattsburgh, scored by Aaron Catron, two by Bennett Stockdale, and one by Tio Deardo. So that will do it for us today here at Steel Hall Ice Arena. Thank you for tuning in, and we will be back after winter break.